what is going on you guys Lou back at it again with another video now for today's video i'm coming back to the trade that we were talking about earlier i posted that video maybe a couple hours ago maybe and the reason i didn't make my reaction to it immediately is because of the fact that i was having a phone call with one of my homies this is long friend this is brother to me and basically we were discussing this trade and it really put it into perspective for me what i really think about this trade and i'm going to tell you I think this trade is very bad for the Wizards, and I think this is a very good trade for the Suns. It may work out for the Wizards. I'm going to just say that. I'm going to bail out on what I just said a little bit, but I I think it would work more short-term than long-term. I see why they're doing it. I didn't see that they need maybe a guy that can get some three-point shots up and play high-class defense. But at the end of the day, I don't think Trevor Ariza really – is going to take that team and make a difference, especially when they really need a difference right now, okay? Their team is looked at where it's just always consistently a choking type of team. They they don't live up to the hype of the talent that they have with John Wall and Bradley Beal, and then people like Otto Porter are not living up to the money that they're being paid and stuff like that. So that is, you know, a reason why maybe they're making trades to be able to, you know, maybe make moves. But also, they be making trades is because of the fact that they may get rid of one of their stars but if that's the case they should have traded these players with maybe either bradley bill maybe got a big player maybe but you never know I, I don't know what they're really thinking about but what i am going to say for the suns in this you know instance is i like what the suns are doing with this trade i think um austin rivers he's okay i think he's had some moments in this league where he's proven kind of where he can be at you know he's not gonna ever be i think a big time star or anything like that but i think he's a good player and i think he could bring good talents i think on the wizards he's having kind of a down year but i think he can come back and play a good role for the suns they've been looking for a playmaker they really have okay because when devin booker's in he's just not the best playmaker so if you can get somebody they've tried other guys like an alfred payton before and it just doesn't work out if you can get somebody like an austin rivers to kind of at least lead the team and at least play make for the guys like a tj warren who's having a really good year and stuff like that, then I think you could really start to make things happen there, okay? And then, you know, Kelly Oubre, I like him, all right? I never think he's going to be too much. I think he is young, so there is more hope. But I don't think he's going to be like an outlandish star or anything like that. But I think he's going to be a good player. He just needs to, I think, find a talent in his, you know, whole thing of what he does, okay? He doesn't really shine in any one thing quite yet. And that's not necessarily bad, but I think in today's league, he should try to find something that he's doing. But I like the stat that he's putting up. I like those stats, okay? So, I mean, overall, I think the Suns are winning this trade. I think the Wizards should have added maybe a, a draft pick maybe to the mix to see if they could get that back. You know, if the Suns would have gave maybe Trevor Reza and then a, a first or second round pick, it doesn't matter. Or even both. Who cares? That would be nice. But, of course, that wasn't going to happen. But that would have been cooler, okay? Because uh, I think... It's just basically the Suns just bailing out on Trevor Reza. They're like, oh, my God. All right, let's flip that. Get it out of here. And I think it worked out for them. But the Wizards, like, you're not getting anything back. Like, you just gave away some, some decent players for a guy that I don't know how much he's going to work for. you. He's on a one-year deal. I know I may be sounding confusing, man. But, <laughs> yeah, but that's all I got for you. So tell me what you guys think in the you know, comments down below. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more. I'm out.